Once upon a time, in a world long ago, the Earth was home to powerful and enigmatic beings known as the Anunnaki. Among these divine entities were two noticeable figures, Enki and Enlil, who played significant role in shaping the faith of humanity. Enlil, the firstborn of Anu, the supreme god, possessed dominion over air and storms. As the rightful heir, his duty on Earth was to enforce his father's will. In a sense, Enlil was considered the primary ruler of the planet, overseeing the actions of the gods and maintaining order. Enki, the second son of Anu, held a different domain. He was the god of knowledge, wisdom, and creation. Initially, Enki was worshipped as a deity associated with fresh water and served as the patron god of the city of Eridu. Interestingly, Eridu was believed to be the oldest permanent settlement not only in Mesopotamia but possibly in the entire world. The Sumerians, an ancient civilization, documented their beliefs that Eridu was the first city ever created. Over time, Enki's influence expanded beyond his association with water. He became known for his expertise in various aspects of life, including trickery, mischief, magic, creation, and fertility. Alongside Ninhursag, an ancient symbol representing a powerful mother figure, Enki is said to have engaged in the genetic engineering of first humans known as Adamo. By merging their own DNA with that of the pre-existing human species, Homo erectus, they brought forth Homo sapiens, the species to which we belong. This creation of humanity echoes the Bible phrase that humans were made in the image of God. Initially, the humans were unable to reproduce naturally and were produced in laboratories, serving as a workforce for gold mining. However, Enki witnessed the exploitation of his own children took pity on them and decided to intervene, even against the will of Enlil. In secret, he imparted the knowledge of mating and reproduction to humanity. Moreover, he taught them about the universe and shared spiritual wisdom. Some theories propose that one of Enki's favorite place of residence was the Atlantis. It is believed that in an attempt to protect his children, he established the Atlantic civilization, a secluded realm where humans could live freely, shielded from the exploitation of Anunnaki. This act, however, enraged Enlil, leading to a war between the two brothers as described in Sumerian clay tablets. The tales of the Anunnaki revealed that the destructive power of nuclear weapons witnessed in the 20th century was not the first occurrence of such devastation in human history. Drawing upon the works of Zachariah Stitchin and archaeological evidence like ancient radioactive skeletons, there is a possibility that an ancient nuclear event took place, resulting from the power struggles among the gods. This catastrophic event is believed to have led to the destruction of the Sumerian civilization. Enki, as the creator of humanity, held a paternal relationship with the first humans. However, Enlil, acting as the sole commander of Earth, grew very angry with his brother for diluting Anunnaki's bloodlines through interbreeding with humans. This shift in power led to the suppression not only of the true nature of the Anunnaki gods, but also of humanity's own ancient past on Earth. Some theories suggest that two of Enlil's attack against the Enki clan and humanity are represented in the stories of the Great Flood and the Tower of Babel. In his final attempt to regain control, Enlil, in a fit of anger, authorized the nuclear bombing of five cities in the Jordan Plain, including Sodom and Gomorrah. This catastrophic act resulted in the extinction of the Sumerian civilization, as well as the destruction of Anunnaki's own civilization on Earth. Enki was subsequently exiled from the planet, Nevertheless, he continued to impart spiritual knowledge to humanity and aid them in their development. The Anunnaki were known in ancient Babylon as Sir, a term associated with big dragons or big serpents. Enki, in particular, was linked to the Brotherhood of the Snake, often depicted by two coiled snakes in the symbol of Caduceus. This symbol held multiple meanings in ancient times. Some scholars have suggested that it represented the reptilian nature of Anunnaki and their alleged connection to the reptilian alien race. On the other hand, others have associated the coiled serpent with Kundalini, a concept symbolizing spiritual knowledge and wisdom. Interestingly, the Caduceus also appear as a magical wand carried by Hermes, also known as Thoth, the Egyptian god of wisdom. It adorns the top of the central rod with a pine cone representing the gift of Kundalani's awareness when activated. The Caduceus signifies that through deep meditation, one can transcend boundaries and access all knowledge and tools for healing. 
The story of Anunnaki is one of ancient legends, secrets, and extraordinary events. It encompasses power struggles among the gods, the creation and invention of humanity, catastrophic destruction, and the enduring influence of these divine beings on human history. Whispers of the Anunnaki echo through the pages of Bible, leaving us intrigued by their existence. Yet their origins and true nature remain shrouded in mystery, hidden beneath the veils of time. Legends speak of these mighty beings, these giants among men, whose presence loomed over the earth. The sacred scriptures make fleeting reference to these enigmatic figures, alluding to their colossal stature. They were known as the descendants of fallen angels, the divine beings described in the book of Genesis. These celestial beings referred to as the watchers in the book of Enoch bestowed upon mankind both awe and fear. Their offspring, the Nephilim, were renowned for their immense size and possessed knowledge that transcended mortal understanding. However, it is vital to acknowledge that the Bible, though an extraordinary guide leading us towards the eternal light of Jesus, does not reveal the entirety of our world's secrets. It carries a specific purpose. The Old Testament unravels the intricate tapestry of divine law, revealing the profound challenges it poses to mortal souls. It emphasizes the insurmountable difficulty for humankind to abide by those sacred decrees. Yet, it is the New Testament that unchains us from the shackles of that impossibility, liberating us with the promise of salvation and grace. Within the vast realm of our collective legends, the story of the Anunnaki and their descendants, the Nephilim, emerges as a captivating chapter. It whispers of a time when gods and mortals intermingled, forging a connection between the heavens and the earth. These larger-than-life beings, stepped in divine knowledge, held a place in grand tapestry to our existence guiding us through the trials of the unknown. So that is all about the video. If you like the video, leave a like and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content like this. Feel free to share this video with your friends and leave your thoughts in the comments below.